Let's bring in the uh, sleepy bird from Friday, Mike Kazi. Good morning, Mike. How are you? I'm not. I wasn't sleeping. It's technology. It sucks. <laughs> we got you need the old fashioned wind up alarm clock. Yeah, well, you, 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 you should. I've got a my. I've got a rust clock. Remember rust clocks? Yep. My yep. parents had one of them. Big round thing that has a radiation painted dial. <laughs> yep. They glow. They glows in the dark. <laughs> yeah. So that's what I have. Well, anyway, uh, let's go to uh, sports, and uh, uh, I, I, I can't, I can't claim that uh, I picked any games because I didn't feel it fair. Mike did pick games, but because we couldn't pick them together, I didn't, I didn't want it to look unfair. How would you have? No, who'd you pick? Who would I pick? I trust you. you, you you're sure now. Yeah. Okay. Um, um, I lost with the Eagles because I picked the Eagles over the Dolphins. Mm-hmm. Um, I won with the Chiefs over the Raiders, mm-hmm. uh, and I lost uh, with the uh, Panthers uh, and, the, and the Redskins. I trust you. I'm, you. You won all the Thanksgiving Day games. You had yeah. Chicago, Buffalo, and New Orleans. You won all three of those. So you went four and two over the uh, the period, and I went four and two because the, the games I sent you, I took Kansas City, San Francisco, and Green Bay. So I won with Kansas City and Green Bay, and I lost with San Francisco. How bad is the NFC East, though? How bad? How, How bad, bad is football? It's, it's, it's terrible. He, I was watching the red zone because I wanted to watch some of that San Francisco-Baltimore game since yep. the NFL deemed watching the Giants and the Jets were more important. So I was watching that game, and you watched it when they put it on. And the 49ers blew the game. Um, it was a 17-17 game, a little more than halfway through the fourth quarter. And they were going down the field, and it was a fourth down and under bad conditions. You couldn't try to kick. So it was fourth and one or less, and you figure you're going to have some kind of run and play or a quarterback keep or something. They threw the ball and had absolutely no shot. And what happened? Baltimore took over on downs, and on two fourth downs, they ran the ball and made the first downs, and then they kicked the field goal. So that was the difference in the game. If the 49ers make that first down on fourth and fourth and less than one, there's a pretty good chance they win that game. But once they turn that ball over, you knew they weren't going to get the ball back, and that was it. And for all the canonization I heard all morning of this, this quarterback for uh, Baltimore, he looks pretty darn ordinary to me. Um, he barely had 100 yards passing. Um, he ran the ball, which is what he does for about 100 yards, and they were saying like he was the greatest thing since, the, since sliced bread. I didn't see it. I mean, the 49ers shut the, 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 the um, Baltimore down cold, so I don't see this guy being that good. Uh, maybe he's good against a bunch of bad teams because that's what the NFL is made up of, but um, against a good team with a good defense like the 49ers, my opinion, he was shut down pretty good. And of course, our good friend uh, over uh, in uh, well, it was San Diego, but uh, the Chargers, uh, they came up. He's a bum. Yeah, they came up. They came up short again, and they're talking now about starting their backup quarterback. Oh, it's about time. Yeah, he's it's about uh, time. He's you know, I, I'm sorry. He's a, he he he's a, he's a fine quarterback except for one thing. He doesn't win. And he, he, when he doesn't win, he tends to, to, to blame it on other people. Always. Yeah. It just, it's just, you know, take your lumps and do what you do. Um, but when you look at, when you look at the, uh, when you look at the league, I'm sorry, uh, you look at the NFC East, the Cowboys are 6-6, six and six, Philadelphia's 5-7, and seven, Washington's 3-9. and nine. The Giants are going for the worst record in the league at 2-10. and ten. I'll tell you what, too, like all the talk about how good this quarterback could be at the beginning of the season, man, he looks pretty bad now. When he gets up against a good defensive team, yeah, he looks, he doesn't, he, yeah, yeah. a team that can put pressure on him, yeah, he's, he's a rookie quarterback. He looks like a rookie quarterback. I said that all along. He's, he's defense isn't one of the better ones in the league either. Yeah, but still, I mean, you know, when, you get to, when you get to a position where you have to throw, uh, you know, he's a rookie quarterback. He, he, it's a long-term project. Uh, if you compare his first-year stats to Eli Manning's first-year stats and to Phil Simms, uh, they're better. But that doesn't mean anything because first-year stats, like we always say, it doesn't matter what you do for me now. It's over the long haul. So we'll have to see. We'll see if he develops. That's the whole thing. 
and the Jets lose to the only team oh. without a win. Well, thank God, because that gives the, sh the Giants a shot at, at the worst record in the league now. Um, a shot? Yeah. I don't think Cincinnati's going to win any more games. They don't play the Jets anymore, do they? I don't know. I don't know. It's just terrible. It's just terrible. It's yeah, terrible. I mean, I, I didn't watch too much of it because it's just bad stuff. I, I'd sooner watch Churchill Downs closing day any day. But, uh, man, football stinks. It really is. I mean, you, you, and, and the good thing with the red zone is you see, like, the big plays of the games. And the big plays of the games are usually the other team screwing up. Hmm. It's just, it's, it's, a, it's a pretty rough shape to watch. How about Vinatieri? You think he has a job today? <laughs> no, I don't. How well, many did he miss yesterday? And one turned, a, a block turned into a touchdown. Uh, and he was at one time one of the best kickers in the NFL, but he's yeah, he's like he's probably about sixty two years old. I was going to say he? He's, I, he is. I think he's forty seven. I actually think he's forty seven, which is old for the NFL. Very old. Now, even for a kicker. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so uh, it's 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 like what was that? That one Rodney Dangerfield movie, Back to School, when he gives the speech to the kids that graduate and. He goes, it's bad out there. That's, that's, that's the NFL. <laughs> oh, it is. All right, so now we've got uh, Monday Night Football. Who's playing? Uh, it's in Seattle. I know that. The Vikings against the Seattle Seahawks in Seattle. And uh, uh, I don't know, man. I don't know what I'm going to do there. I'm going to take Seattle. Uh, even though I don't like the coach, uh, I'm just going to take Seattle. Uh -huh. i got to kind of take them, too, because, you know, the NFL is a soap opera, and now this way they're going to – Seattle's going to win, and they're going to say how all of a sudden the 49ers went from the number one seed to a wild card. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to take Seattle because they need they need that. The NFL needs that story. <laughs> right. So well, you are 40 and 28. Well, and I'm 51 and 16. One of my better years. Oh, you're doing all right. Mm. All right. Well, I'll check with you. Did you get any snow down there? Not yet, but it's going to be bad. Yeah, I we, know that. It's supposed to be bad. I'm waiting, hoping when I get to school they say we leave at 1230, and unfortunately somebody asked me to give them a ride because their car's in the shop after school, like twice the distance from my house to school. Uh, I really hope we get out early now because mm -hmm. that, that's going to stink. <laughs> I can't tell the guy no, but I didn't know it was going to snow. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> that's right. I'll give him $50 and say, take an Uber on me. That's it. I'll check with you tomorrow. Have a great day, guys. Take care. Mike Cotting with the Check on Sports this morning here on The Breakfast Club on Robin Hood Radio.